a lawyer and election denier was arrested after missing a court hearing involving the sharing of private emails from Dominion Voting Systems. Stephanie Lambert, who's a lawyer in Michigan, uh, who was also facing criminal charges in that state for illegally accessing voting machines after the 2020 election, was arrested in Washington, D.C. on Monday after a hearing in a separate case in federal court. U.S. Marshals took Lambert into custody after a hearing over possible sanctions against her for disseminating confidential emails from the aforementioned voting machine company. Lambert had obtained Dominion emails by representing Patrick Byrne, a prominent funder of election conspiracy theorists who is being sued by Dominion for defamation. In a statement, the marshal's office said that Lambert was arrested on local charges. They apparently, they had a bench warrant on, on her after she missed a hearing in her case about the illegal accessing of voting machines. So, now, here's the thing. Uh, this lady was looking for the evidence that the ghost of Hugo Chavez had programmed the machines to steal the election for Donald Trump. Yes, she's one of those people. In Venezuela? Yes, it was Venezuela. <laughs> now, Lambert had earlier unsuccessfully sued to overturn Donald Trump's loss in Michigan based on this no real evidence. Uh, so definitely allied with the Kraken lawyer, uh, Sidney Powell, and her insane conspiracy theories that she got from a woman who claimed to be internally, spiritually decapitated. All right, so I'm going to be very clear. Uh, spiritually decapitated. Doesn't know if she's alive or a ghost. Okay. And had visions that Hugo Chavez was stealing the election for Joe Biden. So, yeah, this is, yeah, insanity, complete and utter nuttery, uh, which has apparently caused functional adults to attempt to break into voting machines to find the evidence. Yes, to find the evidence. Just forget about the evidence. <laughs> because there isn't any. That's the insanity that we're facing here, okay? Yeah, literally doing felonies for Trump. Because Trump just doesn't want to admit that he legitimately lost an election. <laughs> because he's not a loser. Apparently. Uh, now, early on Monday, Lambert had acknowledged passing on records from Dominion Voting Systems to law enforcement, quote unquote. She then attached an affidavit that included some of the leaked emails and was signed by Dar Leaf, a county sheriff in southwestern Michigan. Dar Leaf uh, apparently has investigated false claims of widespread election fraud from the 2020 election. Uh, and of course, that uh, uh, affidavit was also attached to her filing in her own case in Michigan. The rest of the documents were posted to a Twitter account under Leaf's name. Just show it, everybody. Hey, here's the emails from Dominion Voting System from this case that are part of Discovery. Here you go. Wait, what, what are you doing? <laughs> now, Byrne wrote in a text that he did not know if Lambert had been arrested. But if she was, I respect her even more, and she can raise her rate to me. Nah, yes. Lovely guy. <laughs> now, Lambert contended that the Dominion documents obtained under discovery were e evidence of crimes and needed to be disclosed. What? No, but, okay, he here's the thing, though, about that, okay? So, the so-called evidence that uh, in discovery ab about the machines or whatever, right? Um... I mean, I, I'm going to talk specifically about the machines because, you know, you've got Mike Pillow out there uh, say, oh, the machines are hacking into the machines. we got to get into the machines. Uh, you had, uh, I think, Sidney Powell in, in Coffee County, Georgia, getting into the machines. All getting into these uh, machines that they don't own that are, uh, you know, should be protected infrastructure for the state that people who are not authorized should not be able to get into. And you have all of these people getting into them to try to prove that someone else got into them. But here's the thing about all that. They're not computer experts. None of these people are. They're, they're amateur sleuths fed by conspiracy theories. That's the funny thing. You got people that, you know, don't even know how to program their VCR thinking they could find the evidence of hackers from China, Iran, Venezuela, or whoever getting into the voting machines and changing vote totals. 
insane. These are all very complicated systems. And all the experts who have actually, you know, who actually know what to look for, cybersecurity experts, who, by the way, have, have, have themselves white hat cracked into these machines so that, to show these vulnerabilities, right? Because machines do have vulnerabilities, right? Even when they look at that, they say, well, there's, we just don't find any evidence. We know how to crack these machines. And I can tell you, not a shadow of a doubt, nobody cracked these machines during the selection. There was no fraud using the machines. No evidence of hacking, no evidence of changing vote totals. I know because we know how to do it. And we've, we've shown you the vulnerabilities of these machines, but we cannot find any evidence that this had happened in this election. Now, obviously it hasn't stopped anybody from claiming otherwise, but that's the reality. Again, all of these people are like, just forget about the evidence. Don't care. Don't care. I believe in my conspiracy theories and that's it. Nobody's going to shake me of this. Byrne wrote on Twitter slash X that Lambert signed an NDA but found evidence of an ongoing crime. An ongoing crime. And reported to law enforcement. She found a, If she found a severed head in discovery box, she had a duty to report it to law enforcement too. It's in court. <laughs> It, all of this is going to be in the court record. What do you think the court is? The court's part of the law enforcement system. Uh, or judiciary. Which is, part, again, part of law enforcement. Oh my god. And the things, though, that she has and shared, it, it's, it's stolen information from discovery. Which would have been, if, it deem, if it's deemed relevant and real... It would have been presented as evidence during the case. What is she doing? <laughs> Deeply irresponsible and actually pretty stupid. Stupid. Not, not smart. Not smart. Now, Dominion responded to this on Friday by funding a motion demanding that Lambert be removed from the Byrne case for violating a protective order that the judge had placed on documents in this case. Saying, hey, don't share these. These are protected files. Don't share them. What happened? She obviously shared them. I don't care about this, she said. And she proved to the court that she's not going to follow any order in the future. So now this, uh, basically, um, this, this filing from Dominion said that Lambert's disclosure had triggered a new round of threats towards the company from insane MAGA chuds. Quote, these actions should shock the conscience. They reflect a total disregard for this court's orders to say nothing of the safety of Dominion employees. Which just like a lot of election workers across the country are being threatened just for doing their jobs. Because they think, oh no, no, you must be all part of the conspiracy to steal the election. No, no. Now, the judge during the hearing on Monday said she scheduled another determine, uh, another hearing to determine whether sanctions against Lambert or removing her from the case were appropriate, and I would say both appropriate. Yet, obviously, she's not going to follow your rulings. She believes these conspiracy theories, so it's not just her representing a client. It's things that she actually believes and is willing to take the law into her own hands and even break the law in order to try to prove these things that aren't actually happening. So you can't really trust her to be good, you know, legal representation if she herself is committing crimes. But that's just my opinion. 